black. Not to be racist, but how are people black when the first two people that were made are white? Hi lovies and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Belinda Strana. Thank you so much for all the love and support. Don't forget to please subscribe to this channel, turn on notifications so that anytime I upload a video, you will be the first person to be notified. And to my returning subscribers, thank you so much for all the love and support. To those people that share my videos, leave commentaries, you guys are the real MVP. Thank you so much for all the love and support. So lovelies, I came across this interesting video on my For You page on TikTok and I thought to share with you all where the origin of how you know white people was created guys i'm just gonna roll it as well as some of the stitches i was able to put together please leave not me over racist, in the comment section and let's dive into it not to be racist but how are people black when the first two people that were made are white i've read through uh, the bible quite a few times and i might have to read it again because i can't remember where it mentions they were white they were naked though <laughs> If you believe in the Bible, answer these questions. Now, only one answers. I don't need to know you lost or you dumb or none of that shit. Just answer my questions, please. Now, all these answers should match because y'all all believe the same book. So in the Bible, it says Adam and Eve was the first people on this earth, right? But then how did all other races evolve? If two Caucasian people or whatever race they was, how could they possibly make other races? And better yet, wouldn't we all be related? Another question, Noah's Ark. My guy, honestly, it kind of make me sad how nobody in the comments can answer this man's questions. But I can. All right, so first what you messed up at is when you brought up Adam and Eve and saying how two Caucasians can make other races. Let's start off by saying Adam and Eve was not white, they was not Caucasian. But two black people can make other races, which is called the Eve gene. You can just go read up on that yourself. Not to mention the oldest bone found in the world is from a black woman. Now let's get to the book of Enoch, which was taken out of the Bible. The book of Enoch was taken out of the Bible because it was rejected by the Jews because it contained prophecies pertaining to Christ. Now let's get into how other races was really made while using the Bible. Scientists honestly proved that the Bible was real without even knowing it, honestly, when they found out about the Neanderthal DNA. I do not know if y'all know about the fallen angels. Everybody in this world was black to start off with. The fallen angels were sent down here to watch over the people, but instead they started having sexual intercourse with the people. With the fallen angels having sexual intercourse with the people and disobeying God, they had kids and created giants. Which then giants started to have kids, which created Nephilims. And when the Nephilims began to have kids, they created Neanderthals. Which scientists proved that Neanderthals did exist. Which then the Neanderthals began to have kids. And not only that, where those people was living, there was a lot of sun. The Neanderthals couldn't take the heat. So they hibernated to the Caucasus Mountains, which then the Neanderthals began to have kids, which began to create this. Caucasians were made, not born. It's a mutation. Also, and since you talked about the bloodline, God speaks about how after the third or fourth generation, you lose a certain bloodline. Kind of like if a black person have a kid with a white person. That kid is 50% black, 50% white. Then say that kid goes back to a black person. Now that kid is going to be 75% black, 25% white. Then after that kid goes back to a black person, that kid is still going to have an itsy bitsy piece of a white DNA. But after that kid goes back to a black person, the white has disappeared and is soon to go back to its natural race. And is soon to go back to its natural race. So sooner or later, that whole bloodline will be wiped out. So think about where that bloodline will be at after thousands of years has passed. You had a lot of questions, so now I got to make a part two. Be related. Another question, Noah's Ark. So y'all truly believe that Noah grabbed two of each animal and put them on a boat and none of them ate each other? <laughs> but y'all call me a deceiver and an antichrist for not believing in something that obviously doesn't make sense. So I just want to know, how do we repopulate after Noah's Ark if God flooded the whole entire planet and only Noah and his family survived? So y'all saying that Noah is our ancestors? So you telling me this guy right here, including me, and this guy has the same ancestor and we're all related. I really want to see what answer y'all gonna give me for that. Just think about how you sound while you're typing it. Another question, if heaven and hell is real, you have to die to go to heaven and hell. My guy, so you truly believe that if God can speak to Noah and his people to create the ark, that he couldn't spiritually speak to the animals? 
to let them know not to eat each other? He created human and animals. I'm pretty sure he could speak to both. Also, have you not heard of the Eve gene? The Eve gene is a mitochondrial DNA that could create any color of race. So let's talk about the book of Enoch that was taken out of the Bible. I don't know if y'all know the scripture of the book of Enoch where it talks about Noah's father and mother going up to Enoch telling him that Noah looks like the kids from the fallen angels. As if he's a descendant of the fallen angels. You can go watch my part one to tell you how people were created in different shades and forms. Noah was of a pale skin albino. That's why his father and mother were scared of him and said that he looked like the children's descendants of the fallen angels. He was a pale skin and colored eyes. Also, God talks about the fourth and fifth bloodline where your bloodline will wear out after a certain amount of generations. So yes, Noah did have to repopulate the world, him and his family. Noah was albino and his wife was black, which she contained the Eve gene. After a certain amount of generations, your bloodline will wear out. For instance, if a black person has a kid with a white person, that kid's gonna be 50% black, 50% white. Then if that kid goes to a black person soon, their kid is gonna be 75% black, 25% white. And if their kid goes to a black person, that kid is gonna only have like 1% of white inside of them. Then after that, sooner or later, that bloodline of white will be wiped out. That kid will only be of one race. That bloodline has been thinned out. Also, you can go watch my part one to show you how Caucasians was made, which basically answers this question also. But there were curses put upon his people. So after thousands of years, your cousin far, 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 far on this side is black and your cousin far, 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 far on this side can be white. But you will never know. That's the power of life. And that's the power of Yah. So you can't also just read the Bible. You have to go read the parts of the Bible that was taken out also. It could actually answer all the questions that you're asking. But you asked a lot of questions, so now I have to make a part three. My guy. Science just proved that the Bible was real without even knowing it. Okay, so as y'all know, scientists just found out there's another DNA called Neanderthal DNA. Alright, so now I'm about to tell y'all why science just proved that the Bible was real without even realizing it. So scientists are saying that every race contains Neanderthal DNA. You know, Asians, Latinos, Europeans, Hispanics, and the list goes on. But they also say that every race has Neanderthal DNA except for African modern descendants, aka black people. Like, you know, they really just proven that the Bible really is talking about the black people and how they're the real Hebrew Israelites, the real Jews. No disrespect, but one of the scientists actually noted that it's kind of like them being the pure humans. I, I, hey, that didn't come from me. That They said that. I'm just repeating it. Now, let me tell you where Neanderthal blood came from. Neanderthals came from Nephilims. Nephilims came from giants. And giants came from the fallen angels. Now, the Bible speaks about how the fallen angels were supposed to be protecting the humans. But instead, they began to fancy them and began to do sexual activities with the women and men, creating children. These children became dysfunctional giants, like those of Goliath, the one that David fought in the Bible. The giants soon began to create their own offsprings, creating the Nephilims, which allowed the Nephilims to create kids, which resulted into Neanderthals. Now, Neanderthal skin couldn't expose to the sun, so they had to move to a colder climate, aka the Caucasus Mountains. See where I'm going there? which is where they got the word Caucasians from. Their skin grew lighter and lighter, which created the lighter skin pigmentation, which a lot of these races and ethnicities carry till this day. Now Nephilims were giants. The violent offspring produced when wicked angels mated with human women in the days of Noah, the hybrids born from this unnatural union were no ordinary children. Since the Neanderthal blood is still alive, that just proved that some must have lived after the Noah flood. Otherwise, their habitation would have been washed away during this global catastrophe. This means one or more of the eight people that was on Noah's Ark must have carried the unique genetic variations that Neanderthals possessed. 
allowing those genes to survive and to be passed on for a time before they eventually died out. Anyways, I got more to talk about, but we just gonna do that later. So I hope they don't take my page down again for something like this. But you know, let's get into it. Like seriously, lovelies, this is getting quite interesting. Like this is getting real serious. The truth is actually coming out one after the other. We do not know if this is 100%, but the way this lady actually explained it, made me to you know start thinking to actually realize that this that might be you know truth to what she actually said in her video but i also want you guys opinion because in what she said i think she meant that you know or vacation people actually came from the fallen angels we were supposed to come down you know to protect human but instead of them to do the same thing that they were asked to do they decided to you know socialize you know women and start you know playing with them and all of that resulting to producing you know whatsoever thing that she called it and all of that then resulting to producing the cocaine like this is something i have been you know looking for for a long time you know somebody asked a question if the first people that came to the world was white people um how is it that we have black people now the truth is that the people that actually came to the world the first people that adam and eve was not really white like it wasn't said that they are maybe caucasian people that came to the world and all of that they are the first people that came to the world it's nobody actually know but in the bible and the way they have described the bible to us it's now making us realize that it's a save it's actually the people of the darker skin whereas you know the first people uh, you know earth and all of that and uh, as a result the angels that they were supposed to that was that they named the fallen angels who were supposed to you know come down and actually protect humans decided to you know try to do one or two things with women and they started producing giants that looks like Goliath in the Bible which um, someone actually stoned with a stone and the Goliath collapsed and all of that they resulting to creating what we do today as you no know, Caucasians but there's another thing I saw that white people did not exist before time so this is now this is something that we all just need to calm down relax and try to put one or two things together to actually get to a certain you know answer that we are all looking for like Seriously, I was thinking before that the first people that God, because of all the horror videos and the movies and all of that was Adam and Eve, was, which were actually, you know, white people and all of that. But at the curse of, you know, studying, researching, truth being spilled out and all of that, things are a little bit getting, you know, clearer and clearer. And this is actually making a lot of people to dig in more. I have heard stories about these giants before. I have I've heard stories about their existence, about how they later on, you know, you know, um, they they later on were wiped due to the the act of Noah and all of that. So their own um, history was, you know, wiped because they were probably drawn during the time of Noah and its ark. I think they were probably drawn and uh, because they have already mingled themselves with some women and all of that which these women actually carried their dna and uh, because of that after the noah and its ark incident they begin to give birth to you know and also before it now resorted to what we have today like i think this is actually making sense but you know we wouldn't want to say that something is 100 percent because 
we are all still searching that is why when we see things like this we try to bring it here so that's because there are a lot of people that have you know the parts to read that have done some research on their own too so we all can also put it together to see if all of this is actually making sense <laughs> if it's actually making sense when i saw this video i was like the first video that i staged they were talking about okay if the first purple was actually i was like that is just a good question because the way We've, we've all been told that okay and my it was the first people we happen to be so how did we now have um you know white and black now there is something i saw about jane this is jane elliott she was talking about how the um white people never existed that the existence of white people you know began when black people were going to they were traveling into a very far distance the more they travel, the more their shade is lighter and lighter and lighter until they get to a stage whereby they become white. So now with this, her own, you know, what I've heard from her and her own research and all of that, it's now trying to make me to understand that I think you have a very simi similar, you know, a very similar approach to this and a very similar, you know, that actually resulted to how white people came to be. She talked about how these difflings decided to, you know, bear children. You know, the more they bear, the more like when the ones that carry this DNA bears kids, and these kids that they bear have to meet with other people that carry the same DNA, they begin to turn white, and with time. They were not very comfortable with a sunny area until they decided to go settle in a place where there is a cold you know atmosphere and this history is just something that <laughs> that is just eye-opener this world is just full of mystery like nobody knows 100 percent of what really is happening but the way at which this truth are coming out is just getting more interesting it's getting more interesting a little bit complicated but we are all driving in the same you know thing because i wouldn't i wouldn't want to like okay the first people on earth were actually if they were actually black people that are the first people on earth how did the caucasian people come to be and if it was actually caucasian people that were the first people to be on this earth how did the you know black people come to existence so if you listen to what she's saying i think she's making a lot of sense and with with the help of google i think we really need to we are going to find our answers in one way or the other so that is it anyways lovelies why not just you know leave me your own thoughts in the comment section of what you think of this video if you have any other extra you know tend to put in if you have any other thoughts you can just put in or maybe you've done some research on your own you know we are just here to learn and educate ourselves you could just you know leave it in the comment section because i also want to you know read it. and i want to use this medium to wish everyone a happy easter celebration i want to thank my newest subscribers i want to thank those who actually you know share my videos those people that return to watch my videos and if you want to support the channel you can actually join our membership by supporting the channel and uh guys i will see you when i upload and do not forget that we do not support any form of bullying harassment or whatsoever we're just here for educational purposes so please when you're leaving your comment just be so kind be kind because of why and t <laughs> and i will see you lovelies when i upload the next one the question of what you think of this video and do not forget that we do not support any form of bullying harassment or worse we're just here for educational informative you know purposes guys please sh share this video subscribe if you're here to do that and i will see you lovelies when i upload my next one